Right, so we're going to be back in action again on the Monday Night Football against uh, Southampton away. Another uh, a difficult uh, fixture in my eyes. A run of two, uh, two difficult games against Southampton and, and then Liverpool. Our away form uh, improved with the, uh, the win against uh, Arsenal. It has been on the road. We haven't scored quite as many goals as I would have hoped. And the performances are hopefully going to improve on the road. On the back of uh, two, two home uh, victories against fairly decent opposition to play against at home. You would have expected us to get the six points and we did. So going into this game, it looks like they've got, got some, some injury problems. Schneiderlin looks like he's injured. There's a few other players of Southampton's that look like they're, they're uh, injured. So, going to this game, I would expect us to be Myers to be the uh, favourites to win the game. Uh, the injuries um, to us hopefully look like they're clearing up with uh, Johnny Evans and uh, Wayne Rooney um, taught to uh, bat for this game. Whether Johnny Evans plays is another matter. And uh, personally, I would stick to pretty much the same team that played against Stoke City in the uh, week. With uh, just Wayne Rooney coming in uh, to the team for uh, James Wilson. So at the back, uh, again, Rojo and uh, Smallin as the uh, centre-halves. Uh, with Ashley Young and uh, Antonio Valencia on either side. Then obviously no Di Maria, so it'll be Flaney, Herrera, uh, Mata, you get the, the, and Carrick, you get the gist of it. And then obviously uh, Robin Van Persie and Wayne Rooney. Um, as the uh, the main uh, strikers uh, with Radamel Falcao on the bench. Now, it is a controversial topic that uh, Robin Van Persie, in some people's eyes, should be dropped. Now, yes, his performances haven't been great this season, and I was really hoping he could get another goal against Stoke to to kick him kick him on this season. Uh, I just didn't think the one goal uh, in the whole game was enough. He needs to go on a run of two or three goals in two or three games, which <clears throat> we've got to hope that that can, can happen at some point. And going to this game, uh, Southampton are on the back, on the back of uh, two defeats and a draw, so they're not in the best of form. So hopefully we can capitalise on that. Pele hasn't been scoring as many goals of late. He's stepped off, off a bit. And uh, with Wayne Rooney, as I said, back for this game, uh, he was bang on form before he got injured. It was only a slight injury. So I would expect him to be the main man again. He is our uh, best player in the Manchester United team. Although uh, David Hay has been our uh, man of the season, Wayne Rooney, is, as an attacking threat, is our uh, best player in Myers and has been our main player for, for many years. So I'm going to go in this game for a Manchester United victory. Uh, probably a 2-0. I'm going to go for 2-0 victory in this game. I do think we'll probably win this game. I mean, a draw wouldn't be the the uh, the worst result in the world considering what's happened today. Arsenal have lost away at uh, Stoke City, which which was funny. Uh, Liverpool couldn't even beat uh, Sunderland at home, and uh, Chelsea have lost as well, uh, which doesn't um, matter too much in our uh, chase for the uh, Champions League spots. But if we we were to push a bit further and um, look ahead to to a title fight. It could be a positive result. But I'm only bothered about finishing... Uh, I would be happy to finish third this season. I think that would be, be a great season. And I think that is uh, well within our grasp. Because I think we, um, we're we um, starting to play a bit more... Um, getting a few runs to get, r runs of um, victories together. If we can win the next couple of games, that would be six out of six. Which would be a fantastic achievement. And uh, I, just don't, I just feel that we've... Uh, that we've getting the, all these injuries injuries clearing up. I feel that we've got a better team then than than the likes of Arsenal and Liverpool uh, this season because um, if you take the likes of uh, Sanchez out of uh, out of Arsenal, that they're they're um, definitely not the same team. And if you take uh, Daniel Sturridge out of Liverpool, they're definitely not the same team. So I believe that we have a lot of players that can can score goals. It's just that getting that that defence. Um, Sorted uh, with Chris Smalling now playing a lot better, which is great. Uh, I really don't know when Phil Jones is going to be back, which is a which is a blow because uh, if he got a run of games together 
uh, stayed injury free for a while. He could be a, a real great player for Manchester United, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. Raphael, the man made out of glass, looks like he's still out, which is a bit of a blow, but Antonio Valencia is doing an okay job, job at the back. But hopefully I'll be back again on um, the Monday night with um, a victory review. And until then, uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, talk to you all again uh, soon.